So in geometry, we have this idea of what we call a transversal. A transversal is when basically you have like two parallel lines. These are the parallel lines, right? And the line that cuts through them at some angle is called the transversal. This kind of arrangement with two parallel lines and then some other line that cuts through them, it comes up so often in math that we actually have a, or an entire lesson on it. And we have lots of different kinds of angles that are formed. You can see there's angles here, all the way around here. There's, there's lots of relationships here that we want to cover. So rather than just lecture, 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 we're gonna actually solve problems. And in the process of solving them, you, you will learn what these different angles are. All right, so first I want to uh, draw your attention to figure number one. First of all, you can tell that this is a transversal type situation because we have two parallel lines and then we have some other line crossing both of those lines and cutting through both of them, which is what we said we would have. All right, so we have you know, line A, E, line B, D, and so on, and we have these angles numbered on the inside. So this is just to help us refer to the angles, to the angles here. All right, so first, let's talk about our first question. And as we go through, we will learn what these different guys are. Okay, angle one and angle three are blank angles. So we need to fill in the blank here. What kind of angle is it? Angle one and angle three. So put your finger on angle one and angle three and notice that this forms like an X and angle one and angle three are opposite of each other. So when you have two lines that cross, the angles that are opposite of each other are called vertical angles. And the angle one is actually equal to the angle number three. These, this is the same degree measure here. So these are called vertical angles, right? Now to expand on that a little bit, if we go over here, if I just draw any random two lines that cross, then we say that this angle is vertical with this one and also this one's vertical with this one. You can see that this angle is the same measure as this one and this one's the same measure as this one. So remember this, two angles are vertical if they're on the other side of an intersection like that and they're always equal. Even if I draw the lines differently, like draw some steep lines like this, the opposite angles are called vertical and they're also equal. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Angle five and six are blank kind of angles, five and six five and six. So these are not vertical because they're not across from each other. However, if you look at this line here, there is a, a line here and a line that cuts through it and angle five and angle six are right next to each other. Now these are have two different names. The most common name is called supplementary angles. Supplementary. Supplementary angles. You also might call, see them called adjacent angles. Now supplementary angles, just to draw another little picture, is when you have a line and then some line crosses, right? What we're talking about is this angle is supplementary with this angle right here. And what it means, if you label this angle A and angle B, is that A plus B has to equal to 180 degrees. So the angle here plus the angle here always adds to 180. Why is that? Because you know that if you have a line, it's 180 degrees all the way over. So if you cut this thing in some, you know, by some fraction here, then whatever this, this, this angle here plus the other one must add up to 180. So in this case, it was angle five and angle six. These were supplementary, right? Because they add up to 180 degrees. You can see that uh, angle eight and angle seven are also supplementary. Also angle eight and angle five are supplementary. There's lots of supplementary angles in this picture. All right, let's take a look at angle four and angle six. So angle four is right here, angle six is right here. Now these kind of have some weird names. So these are called the interior angles of this setup because they're on the inside. And these are called the exterior angles because they're on the outside. So if you put your finger on four and angle six, these are called alternate interior angles. They're alternate because they're on the opposite sides of the line and they are interior angles, alternate interior angles. So angle four and angle six are alternate interior. Right? Let's take a look at angle one and angle seven. Now angle one and angle seven are also alternate because they're on the opposite sides of this line. They're opposite here, but they're exterior angles. So they're alternate exterior angles. Okay? So we call this alternate exterior. Like this. All right? Take a look at angle eight and angle four. Angle eight here and angle four right here. 
right? Notice these are the same angle measure as well, angle eight and angle four right here. These are actually called corresponding angles because notice that you can look at these, this is like the uh, kind of, if you tilt your head this way, it's like the lower left-hand angle and this is the lower left-hand angle. So they're in kind of the same position. They're not alternate or anything like that. So we just call them corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. Since these lines are parallel, this has to form the same angle. These have to form the same angle. These have to form the same angle. These have to form the same angle. So these are corresponding angles as well. So these two here, again, are called corresponding angles. All right, so we've, we've done a good job starting out with some definitions. Uh, the vertical angles are the angles that are on the opposite side of an intersection. And then we have the supplementary angles that add up to 180 degrees, like these angles here add up to 180, these five and six add up to 180, so on. Alternate interior angles are these angles on the inside that are alternate. Alternate exterior angles are the ones on the outside that are alternate. And then corresponding angles are the ones that are in the same positions. All right, so remember these, and we have a few more uh, problems in this lesson. All right, let's take a look at the next figure. This one's really crazy looking. We have you know, uh, two parallel lines right here with a transversal that crosses them, and then we have another little part of the figure down here with lots of other angles, and so on. So let's see what the first question asked us. Angle seven and angle three are what kind of angles? So angle seven and angle three, so put your finger on there. So angle seven and angle three, what kind of angles are there? Well, they're not alternate anything because they're on the same side. They're actually in the same locations. We call these corresponding angles, just like these are corresponding and these are corresponding and these are corresponding. These two here are corresponding angles. So that's what we're gonna write down. So we'll put in corresponding. Okay, next, two and eight are what kind of angles? Two and eight, what kind of angles? Well, these are on the opposite side of this transversal and they're on the exterior. Like these are the interior angles and these are the exterior angles. So they're alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles, alternate exterior. Alternate exterior angles, okay? Angle nine, angle 10, what are they called? Angle nine and angle 10. Now this is one we haven't actually come across here. We said that, for instance, angle five and angle six are what we call supplementary, right? Because they add to 180 degrees. But look at nine and 10. This little box here in the corner means that this entire angle is 90 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle nine plus angle 10 must add to 90 because we have the little thing here. So when two angles add to 90, we call them complementary angles. Complementary angles. So this is complementary angles. Right? Now, complementary and supplementary are really important, so try to burn those in your mind. Complementary angles, they add to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, they add to 180 degrees. Something we have to try to remember. All right, angle four, angle two. Put her finger on angle four, angle two. These are opposite angles on the other side of an intersection. We call these vertical angles, and these angles have the same measure. So these are called vertical angles. Okay, and then finally, angle five and angle three. Angle five, angle three. They're an alternate opposite size of the transversal. They're on the interior of the, of the thing here, so they're alternate interior ang angles. Alternate interior. All right, so in this lesson, we have learned quite a bit. Um, instead of just lecturing, I decided to try to teach you these definitions by examples. So we have vertical angles. When, the, when you make, make an X or some kind of intersection, the opposite angles there, they're called vertical and they have the same measure. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Uh, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. And then we have the alternate interior and alternate exterior and all these things. Go through these. When you feel like you understand, follow me on to the next lesson. We'll continue building your skills. So here is our drawing. Don't let it get, intimidate you too much. There's lots of angles labeled here, letters and numbers. Let's just go to the first problem. Angle two and angle three are what kind of angles? Angle two and angle three. So this is angle two, this is angle three. But notice that the border of angle two and angle three, in here we have a uh, square, which means this is a 90 degree angle. So that means angle two plus angle three must be equal to 90 degrees. 
And because of that, we know that these have to be complementary angles because in math, complementary angles mean they add to 90 degrees. All right, take a look at five and two. Five is here, two is here. If we have a line here and a line here, uh, this line here and this line here, the opposite angles there, we call them vertical angles. And this angle has the same measure as this. Vertical angles are always the same. So because they're opposite on the other side of the intersection, we call them vertical angle. Okay, angle seven, angle four. Angle seven is right here, angle four is right here. Now, if you cut through all of the, of the stuff here, this is a single transversal cutting through two parallel lines. So we're looking at angle seven and angle four. Uh, and these are the uh, alternate angles here, because here's an alternate on the other side, of the, on the alternate sides of this transversal, and they're interior. These are the interior angles, so they're alternate interior angles. Call them alternate, alternate interior. Okay, look at one and nine. One and nine. Now again, we have the transversal and the two parallel lines. One and nine are again alternate, but they're on the exterior side. So these are alternate exterior angles. We call them alternate exterior. Okay. Finally, four and nine. Angle four, angle nine. Angle four, angle nine. So here's the transversal. They are on the same side. So they're not alternate, but they're in the same position. They're in the, you know, low, like these, uh, I guess I'd say, like this one and this angle right here would be the same. This one and this were in the same location. This and this angle, if you measure the whole thing, would be in the same location. So these are in the same location. So we just call them corresponding angles. Half of the work here is really just cutting through the drawing. All right, let's take this down. We have a few more questions. All right, this is a very busy drawing. Don't try to stress out about all the numbers here. They're just labeling the angles. Next question, angle seven and angle eight. What kind of angles are they? So we put our, finger, our fingers on angle seven and angle eight. Here is a line. This is a line that cuts through it. So the measure of angle seven plus the measure of angle eight has to equal 180 degrees and we call that supplementary. So those are what we call supplementary angles. I'm just gonna put sup for supplementary. All right, 11 and 14. 11 and 14. These are on the alternate sides of the, transver uh, of the transversal and they're interior here, so they're alternate interior angles. So we call them alternate interior. Okay, what about seven and one? Seven and one, again, they're on alternate sides of this transversal, but they're the exterior angles, so they're alternate exterior. I'll just put alternate exterior. All right, 13 and 16. 13 and 16, this forms an intersection with an X and these are opposite angles. We call those vertical angles and they have the same measure. So we call them vertical. And then the last question is 15 and 11. 15 is right here, 11 is right here. Notice that they're in the same position. These are in the same, these are in the same, these are in the same, these are in the same. We call those corresponding angles. Corresponding. All right, so in this lesson, we have learned about corresponding angles, vertical angles, uh, complementary angles when they add up to 90 degrees, supplementary angles when they add to 180, vertical angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles. So we've kind of put labels on these angles. Once you feel like you understand what they're called and you understand how we're getting these answers, follow me on to the next lesson. We'll do similar problems, but we'll actually calculate the value of some of these angles. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.